and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Liza and welcome to Life with Liza. Sino mas madalas magsabi ng I love you? You know what? This is the most embarrassing video I probably have on Twitter. <laughs> How good of a kisser are you? I can't breathe. I feel like I'm gonna cry. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Liza. And as you can see by the title, Life with Liza, which is pretty explanatory. I'm just going to bring you guys along on my adventures my discoveries, um, me spending quality time with family, and even maybe some behind the scenes footage when I'm at work. So to start off my first YouTube video, the other day I posted on my Instagram stories and on Twitter, um, well on Instagram stories I posted like those question thingies and then on Twitter I tweeted like a whole hashtag ask Liza thing. So, um, yeah, I read a bunch of your questions. Of course, I won't be able to answer all of them because there were so many questions. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who participated in it. So, uh, let's get straight into it. I saved like some of the questions that stood out the most to me. And those are the questions I'll be answering. First question is, this was from Twitter and um, it was from the user at Strawberrano. That's a pretty witty name. Um, she asked me, can you please do a reaction video with Ken on old Liz Ken videos like this one? Please, I am willing to sacrifice 10 hair strands for this to happen. Um, actually, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Thank you so much for giving me um, a concept or an idea of what I can do. Um, I'll definitely look into that. Second question I got on Twitter is from at Ann Donna. Hopi, do you still play the guitar? Are there other musical instruments you'd like to learn? Ooh, that's a very nice question. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how to... Well, I kind of, like, the songs that I learned before, I still kind of memorize them. But, no, I don't play the guitar anymore. I do have my guitar with me still. It's not something I'm interested in anymore. But, I definitely would probably like to get back into it. Sayang naman yung napag-aralan ko na. Third question is from at Kagatni Hopi. <laughs> That's a funny name. Um, she asked me, if you were a boy, what would be your name? I've never thought about that. Um, probably Jungkook. <laughs> I'd be a Jungkook, or no, I'd probably be like a Jin. I'm. My per I think I identify my personality with BTS's Jin more because I'm kind of sarcastic, kind of funny, but I still act like the older sister to everyone. In his case, like the older brother of all um, the matinees. So yeah, I'd probably be a Jin. <laughs> Fourth question. From, this is on Twitter again, from at Soberano Hill. Hashtag Ask Liza, if you could eat only one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? I think you already know the answer to this. I would choose Sinigang. <laughs> Sinigang for life. This one is from at Mikey, Mike, M-Y-K-E underscore Katok on Twitter. Ano pick me cancer room mo? Patingi naman please. I actually have quite a few, but I'll show you one that I have. This is next to my bed. So this is an artwork that I believe one of our supporters gave us. It's pretty cute. Oh, this is, yeah, this is from our Hawaii trip, our most recent Hawaii trip. This is from at Bernadette M5, MF5 on Twitter. She said, At the Nanono at Kabanang K drama, anong mga favorite mong K drama? Hashtag Ask Liza. Yes, I do watch K dramas, but I'm currently not watching. I'm not hooked on anything as of the moment. I have watched EK1 class, Hotel de Luna. Um, Weightlifting Fairy, Kim Bok Ju, and Boys Over Flowers. Those are the only K-dramas that I've ever watched. This question is from at Andana, again. Sino mas madalas magsabi ng I love you? Ikaw o si Ken? I would say me. <laughs> it's really Ken. I think he's more, um, he's more showy and more affectionate than I am, but he knows that I love him, and I'm more of the type of person that shows my love through my actions, not through words, which sometimes can be a lot more meaningful. This is from Ken Hope Forever on Twitter again. She said, or he said, dream content with Ken for your blog. 
My dream content with Ken would definitely have to be a K-pop reaction video or a dance video. I know a lot of our Liz Ken supporters have been asking for Ken to do a dance video on his vlog. I would be happy if he did it on my vlog as well because I've been taking dance classes with G-Force. So, um, and Ken has been joining in on those dance workshops. So maybe one of these days we can upload a behind the scenes video of us doing workshops dancing to K-pop. So this is from at Rated LQ. On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest and 1 being the lowest, how good of a kisser are you? Hashtag Ask Liza. <laughs> Why don't you say it? Come here. 10. Tell ten. them. Come here. 10. <laughs> 10. What else can I say? Oh my gosh. It's a... <laughs> So this is from at Liza Sobera Needs on Twitter. Hoping na alala mo ba to? Mo pa ba to? I can't even say it correctly. Hoping na alala mo pa ba to? Ha 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 ha. At, at, hashtag Ask Liza. I'm just gonna play the video. You know what? This is the most embarrassing video I probably have on Twitter. <laughs> She always goes on live all the time and doesn't even tell me about it. But I mean, it was a good time. We were all enjoying, so no regrets. Okay, so this is from Dudsy on Instagram. He asked me, Hi, Liza. Who is your favorite rapper, local and international? My favorite rapper of all time would have to be Eminem. And then Min Yoongi from BTS. <laughs> I have to add that. Um, my favorite local rapper would have to be Mr. Andrew E. He was my dad in Dolce Amore. And even before I met him, and even before I had the opportunity to work with him, I was already singing Banyo Queen in high school. So. This question is from Bettina Siochi. What's your go-to comfort food? Instant noodles. <laughs> I know it's so unhealthy, but yeah, it's my favorite. This is from Mickey OOT. What inspires you to always have a positive life? my family, my loved ones, and actually mostly it's Ken. Ken is a very positive... <laughs> you're here, it's awkward to say that when you're here. <laughs> Ken is like one of the most positive people I've ever met in my life. And whenever like, <laughs> as a woman, a lot of us ladies know that when it's that time of the month, we can become so pessimistic. And it's just, it's just our mood and in general. And Ken always reminds me to look at the brighter side of everything. Like sometimes I feel like, oh my gosh, wala na ako magagawa, but he always helps or enlighten, enlightens me on the things that I can do to fix whatever I'm struggling with. This is from Vin Vins. Ano ang mobile games na nilalaro mo po sa phone? I play Call of Duty Mobile. Team Test Match. And that's the only game. I used to play AOV. I used to be really addicted to that too, but not a lot of people play it anymore. I think a lot of people have switched to ML. At Ross Lorraine. Hi Liza, what's your favorite subject in psychology and why? I love that question. My favorite subject would have to be theories of personalities and intro to counseling because that's all I've took so far. Um, but mostly intro to counseling because I want to become a counselor. I don't know if I want to become a clinical psychologist yet or abnormal psychologist. I'm still debating between the two, but yeah. Those are my favorite subjects. This is from Stephen Ross. If you could live a movie, what would it be? You'd be the protagonist. Definitely Harry Potter. I've always, I've always been fascinated with magic, and I want to be a wizard. I want to be Hermione Granger. If I could be Harry, I would be Harry too. This one is from Jessica Ped Thirteen. Kung ang mga fans ay my list kid, ikaw naman ay my. Jen Lisa. I, I I used to watch a lot of Jen Lisa videos on YouTube and for some reason I, I mean I'm not about shipping them if they're not comfortable with that, but I find them the fan stories and stuff cute. This is from Kakai. What country do you want uh, do you plan to go to someday? Mm. Ken and I really want to go to Africa for sure. We want to go to Jerusalem, Egypt, and Actually, we just want to go around the whole world. There's, but I think like our next 
plan, which is closer to reality, would be would probably be Africa or Jerusalem or Greece. There's a lot of places we want to go to. This is from Ayana. Ayana underscore. If you're not an actress, model, and the love of my life, what are you? He he he. A lawyer, doctor. Love you. Um, at this moment, I'd probably still be studying for um, my doctor's degree in psychology. Okay, this is from Chararat16. If you could change one thing about the world, what would it be? Hashtag ask what? Poverty. But I don't know exactly how I can change it. I want to stop poverty. I want to stop famine. I want to stop oppression. This is from at so famous. Hi Thea. Um, your top three BTS songs of all time and why? Okay, number one would have to be Save Me. Number two would have to be Black Swan. I I'm really into Black Swan. And number three, Mic Drop. Hashtag Ask Liza, favorite theory of personality. Ooh, okay. My favorite theory of personality would have to be Albert Bandura because I like how positive his theory is and it tells us that, that we have the power to control our lives but for those who do have the opportunity to change things and control it, I like to think about his theory and how, you know, we have control and that we can change the things we want to change. At Tutoy Guevara, my chance ba na magkaroon ng part 2 on Forevermore? Aww. You know what? I've always thought about that. I, I think that Forevermore does deserve a part two, but I don't know what we would what the story would be about because at the end of Forevermore, they had a pretty good ending and I don't know where you're gonna take it from there. But yeah, I met, I miss Agnes and Xander. They're probably my most favorite characters ever. Oh, and that was the last question. So, um, that's it for today. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who subscribed to my vlog. I'm excited to take you guys along through my journey. And yeah, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm, I'm so excited to be able to communicate more with my supporters. And I hope you guys enjoy my vlogs. I can assure you that it won't be as boring <laughs> as this one if you guys find it boring. And um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you and may God bless us all. Oh wait, shouldn't I say like like and subscribe? Okay. And please, um, for those of you guys who are watching for the first time and are getting to know me for the first time, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up if you would like to. I mean, I'm not forcing you, but it, I would be really happy if you did. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, and see you guys then.